want to check for any family and the color you can go to the actual website and click on the elements and you can find out what exactly the height and size they are using what exactly weight they are using and colors family everything hey guys what's up in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how you can make this amazon navbar clone which is similar to the original one so here you can see the detailing and everything now let's move on to the actual amazon site So this is what we have made and this is the original one which is similar to what we have created. Let's see how you can make this design. So here I am in my visual studio code which you can install and here I am creating a file called index.html and I'll give the styling in this file only. So let's start the boiler page. So firstly we will going to write the html code and then we will move on to the styling part. But before that, let's see how many divs we need to create. So in this navigation bar, we have one div for image, one for your address, one for input, and then for your account, return orders, and card. So there are exactly five to six divs we need to create. So let's create those divs. So let's talk about what is written inside this code. So the first div is the parent div having the class called block and then you have created the five sub divs with a name called address, input, account holder, return and the card. As I have mentioned in the browser, we have five divs. First one is this, second one is input, third one is this account and list and then return order and then the card. So inside the image we right now we haven't have the folder image and the photo is missing but we're gonna add this thing afterward inside the address i have added for the icons i'm gonna use the font awesome icon but this icon will not gonna appear in the browser right now because i haven't added the link of the font awesome icon so it will not gonna work right now and so you can see the code is this is the icon and then I have created the div inside it. So I have made the folder called image and inside the image I have this Amazon picture. So let's see how our site is looking. So this is it without CSS. So let's give the styling to the page. So this is a universal selector and we giving the margin and padding to 0 which is is not 0 by default. Now let's select the block and give the styling to it. So this is the property I have given to the block. I have given the display to flex and justify content space between align enter align item which is to the x axis is center and then the background color and all this thing. You can also give this styling here in, while going to the inspect. So you can go to the inspect and click on that element you want to style and then you can style over here also. But I have already have my code so that's why I'm styling in the VS code. Apart from the color, you can uh, check the color by going to the inspect here and you can check uh, its background color, the navigation bar background color like this. So this is how you can check the colors. So this is how I check the color and did the, all the styling inside the inspect. So let's give the rest of the styling here inside the VS code, selecting the address selector. So here inside the address we have given the display flex justify content center align item center. You can see here inside the code. So making the display flex, it's converting the div into by default column. So this is inside the column 
and as I have written the justify center so it's giving the equal spacing so align item justify center these are used to give equal spacing from y and x axis display flex is a very used property so you should know so the reason why I given the position to relative is because I'm gonna add an icon so I'm gonna make that position to absolute and will make it zero pixel from right so it will gonna stick inside that input tip so that's why I made it position relative so before doing rest of the CSS let's add the font awesome link so that we can see the icon the font awesome link so you can get this link here in the browser so as it says to use the font awesome icon add the following link inside the head but make sure that the version need to be new and you should add all in the font or something like here you have to add all and you have to add the newest version which is 6 then it's gonna work so let's write the rest of the CSS So this is, uh, I've written all the CSS, let's see how the CSS is working. So this is how our navigation bar is looking for the Amazon. So mostly I have used the display as flex, align item center and justify content center. This is the property which is used here a lot. For this icon, what I have did, you can see, let me click on this icon. Dev. I made the position absolute and give the right to 0%. So it stick to this side, the reason being because the parent, I have made the parent position as relative. That's why when I made this div as absolute and write to 0%, it stick over here. So this is how you have to stick the uh, icon, the search bar icon using position absolute. Want to check for any family and the color, you can go to the actual website and click on the elements and you can find out what exactly the height and size they are using, what exactly weight they are using and colors, family, everything. So this is it. Just tell me in the comment section how was my explanation and did you find it interesting or not. See you. Bye-bye.